Kia ora friends, welcome back to my studio. I'm Gina and in today's video I'm going to be finishing off the electric chair room. And it's this room that's just right behind me, right here. And there's a few more details to finish, so let's get started. To begin creating Uncle Nick Mac, all I'm going to do is ball up a sheet of aluminium foil. And I'm just going to press this into a rough body shape. So a bit of the body with a bit of like the head, not that you really see it too much. And then once I'm happy with the overall shape, I'm going to use a pillowcase. This is an old pillowcase that I have. And I'm going to use this particular seam down the middle of the bag that Uncle Nick Nick is in. Yeah, I'm just going to strategically place that right down the middle and then just glue the fabric around the aluminium foil reasonably loosely so that I can still move the foil uh, if I need to, just to make sure that he sits in the right way. And then I'm just going to fold in the edges on each end and then just with a bit of tacky glue, glue that into place. And then as the glue dries, I'm just going to use some little wee clamps just to hold it. For the buckles around or the strap around the bag, I'm just going to use a couple of thin strips of leather and a couple of bits of wire to create the buckle. I have got my supervisor and very helpful not <laughs> um, helping me out anyway so I'm just going to wrap the thin strips of le uh, leather around this is some very thin leather that I've got and then I'm just going to poke the small piece of wire through the leather to create one part of the buckle and then just the metal loop which will actually create the other part of the buckle. So it doesn't have to go all the way through. And I've actually just glued most of these into place. So now I can go ahead and age up the fabric. And I'm doing this just with some watered down brown paint. So to create the luggage tag, I'm just using a piece of paper. It's a reasonably heavy weight paper. And I've just drawn out the shape that I want. And I'm just going to paint around the edge of the luggage tag. I'm doing it this way rather than trying to cut it out and then paint it really neatly. It just gives me a little bit more control over the brush strokes because I don't need to worry about going over the edges because I'm going to cut those away. And I'm just painted a bit for the back as well, which I'll glue those two pieces together. So to attach it to the bag, I'm just using a bit of needle and thread and then just threading that underneath one of the straps and then just tying that off, which will give the luggage tag for Uncle Nick Nick. One of the other things that I wanted to create was some sticks of dynamite. I am taking this three millimeter wooden dowel and then just painting it red. And then all I need to do is just cut down some equal lengths of as if they are little sticks of dynamite. And then I'm just going to glue them together in groups of three. 
And then I'm just going to take some leftover pieces of wood that from the wood slats in the on from the walls and create a little crate. I'm drawing on the side of it the word dynamite and I'm trying to use it a little bit more of a stencil type lettering. For the wicks of the dynamite, I've just got this piece of string that I've just separated out the different individual threads and then I'm able to poke that down through the middle of the three sticks of dynamite. And then once I'm happy with that, then I can glue them all into place. And one other thing I wanted to do was just sort of give them a bit of a dusting of dust, basically. So I'm just using a really grey, light grey pigment powder. But then it was this point that I realized that I hadn't really finished the sticks and I should have done this step prior to gluing them all together. So I'm just going to go through with a bit of electrical tape and just wrap the tape around at the top and the bottom of each of the three. So to go with the dynamite, I'm going to create a detonator box here with the one with the wooden handle that you plunge down through the middle of it. And in order to do that, I'm just using some mat board and just creating a small box. Painting it black and I'm going to give it two coats of black just so that it makes sure that it gives it a really good coverage. And then for the actual plunger, what I'm going to use is some toothpick. So I've got these cocktail sticks and I'm just going to use a decorative end and the pointy end in order to poke that down through the middle to help secure it in there. For the actual parts of the plunger box or the detonator box that hold the wire, I'm actually going to use the top of the toothpick again and then just drill a very tiny hole through the very top of it and add in a small piece of wire. And then once I'm happy with that I'm just going to paint it up black as an undercoat and then also just a top coat of sort of a bronze kind of colour. I can cut those off the large end of the toothpick and then glue those into place. So another detail that I wanted to add in was a small table and the table is going to have lots of different bottles of poisons sitting on top of it but in order to do that first what I need to do is create the table. So I'm just using a mixture of 
a square wooden dowel as well as some balsa wood. So starting with the legs I'm just going to glue them into place then I can go around and add in some additional supports just in between each of the legs that helps kind of secure them into place and then that piece also gets glued to the very top of the table as well. just used a mix of watered down brown paint to add to the table and to give it a really rich colour as if it's a wood stain on the table. Moving on to the bottles, I've actually printed off some labels at, actually at the same time as they did the gauges for the electrical panel and I'm just covering those up with a coat of Mod Podge so that when I do the brown wash over the top I don't lose any of the printing because um, that has a tendency to dissolve in water. So for the bottles themselves I just had a mix of different ones from um, a vodka bottle into a tin can into a couple of jars so I'm just using a mix of those and just gluing the different labels onto each one. So for one of the jars I just wanted to create a little bit of an opaque interior and I've used this wood glue trick before. All it is is creating a film on the inside of it. So I've used it on the inside of windows before and I'm just using a little bit of wood glue on the inside and then with a paintbrush I'm just going to spread that around on the inside of the jar because I don't want it to be too cloudy but I just want it to be a little bit more opaque than just clear glass as if nothing is in there at all. So for the second jar I just wanted to create a little bit more colour and I'm using some UV resin along with some acrylic paint although I do think I put probably a little bit too much acrylic paint in here but it will set eventually and uh, yeah I'm just using um, a toothpick just to try and put that down into the jar and then I want a little bit to kind of fall over the side and run down the side of the jar as well. And then gluing all the bottles to the table and then just dusting it up with that same grey powder that I've used for the dynamite just to add a layer of dust onto the top of the table so it's not so clean and pristine. Mm -hmm. 
and then a little bit of dusting of black on the back as if it would have been sitting up against the wall. That is it for this week and this video and for the Adams family for now. I'm really happy with a couple of rooms that I've been able to put together and if you like this video consider hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel. There'll be more of these coming up in the near future. Until next week I'll see you then. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.